Welcome everyone to the Tactical Tavern. My name is Tomas Salas, and in this video, we are reviewing the Emerson Tiger. We're gonna be checking out this apex predator of a knife and seeing if it's capable of everything that Emerson knives claims it can do. We're gonna be putting this up against the Tactical Tavern test with 25 possible points based on price, functionality, design, dependability, versatility, and carryability. Let's cut into it. Before we begin, if you love gadgets, gear, and all things everyday carry, stop, take a moment, drop a like, and subscribe for more content like this. All right, first up is price, and this product retails for $260. This was one of Emerson's original signature series knives, and they recently brought it back into production. This knife is extremely popular for obviously good reason, and in order to get it right now, you have to add on to their wait list. These knives are made in the USA, and although they're still using 154CM blade steel, the recent quality out of there has been exceptional. Furthermore, this is a right-handed knife, and we'll get into that a little bit more later on, but if you want to carry it as a lefty, there's an additional $25 charge to have that milled and tapped for your left-handed pocket clip. Personally, as a lefty, I believe that this should come standard on all Emerson models. Because there are steels that have a lot more capability and that there are long wait times to procure this knife, I'm giving it a pricing score of three out of five. All right, next up is functionality and design. The Emerson Tiger has an overall length of nine inches. The blade length comes in at 3.8 inches, comprised of 154CM blade steel, as mentioned earlier with a Rockwell hardness of 57 to 59. This has a single bevel chisel grind similar to what you would find on a Japanese chef's knife. It has sculpted G10 handle scales with barrel spacers and liners made out of titanium. Now I feel it would be a great time to mention that the hardware on this knife uses standard screws so there's no need for that fancy T6 and T8. You can literally adjust the pivot and tension of this with a dime out in the field. It opens via the thumb disc which has neural traction on there and also comes equipped with the standard Emerson wave opener. Once you quickly and successfully deploy that blade, it locks into place with the robust liner lock. This total package weighs in at just 3.5 ounces and let me tell you it is very well balanced and extremely fast. This has a saber blade shape with a continuous sweep all the way up and the tip is slightly up of the center line. This makes it fantastic for a variety of different cutting tasks from hunting, hiking, camping, personal protection, and everyday carry. I have been using this as my everyday carry cutting blade for a couple months now and I am very happy with the performance. I have found that the blade shape is a great blend between slicing and stabbing capabilities with a very acute point for detailed cutting work. I'm also the utmost fan of this handle design and it locks into place both in forward and reverse grip. The thumb ramp leading up to the Emerson Wave Opener has a little bit of jimping that's also run into the titanium and it is extremely comfortable and not overly aggressive, which also aids into the fact that this knife is very comfortable for extended use cutting tasks. Now the pocket clip does ride a bit high, but it allows for a positive draw when utilizing that Emerson Wave feature. I also like the coating that they went on with the pocket clip and I found it to be very durable with only minor scratching over extended hard use periods. I'm also a big fan that it is not bright and shiny and very concealable and low profile. That grippy G10 will literally shred any pocket, so make sure you practice deploying this knife with jeans that you don't care about wearing out. There's a lot of thought that went into this knife, and it certainly shows, giving it a score of 5 out of 5 on functionality and design. Next up is dependability. Emerson knives have a slogan of being famous in the worst places, and this certainly holds true to this model. There's virtually no blade play, and this knife locks into place. I have no fear that even on a back strike, that this knife is going to close onto my hands. Now, the steel is a bit on the softer side, so even if you hit some sort of hard target, it is more likely to roll than chip, which means that in the field, you can technically work it out. Emerson Knives claims that the chisel grind is easier to sharpen in the field, and I've found this to be certainly true, whereas you can just roll your window down and hone it up on the edge of that glass. In the future, I would love to see some updated steel coming from Emerson Knives, although I do understand where they're coming from, because if it's not broke, why fix it? I really do love how reliable this knife is, and it scores a five out of five on dependability. And this brings us to our next point, versatility. And this knife scores high in versatility because of that great blade shape and amazing ergonomics. First and foremost, they designed this to have a knife that's capable of tackling a wide variety of tasks, and they certainly succeeded with this design. I've used this knife for a wide variety of everyday carry cutting tasks from zip ties and cardboard and even fine detail tasks. It has tremendous slicing capabilities, which makes it easy to zip through cardboard and rope. Lastly, it has a very acute yet robust tip and the balance of this knife makes it amazing for personal protection and defensive capabilities. This knife would fit right at home at just about any outdoorsman's pocket. It would also make a very reliable tool for first responders. Yet there is still something there for just about anyone to be able to everyday carry it has a short enough blade length to be able to meet most blade restrictions. It may be a tad bulky for office environments, however, that black blade and black clip make it very discreet in the pocket. For versatility, I give it a five out of five. All right, next up is carryability. And I'm really bummed that this does not have a left-hand friendly pocket clip. Why do we lefties gotta pay more like that? I've been carrying this in my left hip pocket in my 511 Defender Flex jeans, so I can draw it in a reverse grip. Again, just be careful because it will shred your pockets if you don't sand down that pocket clip a little bit. I also like that you can flick this open with that thumb stud and it is smooth enough that you can even 
spidey flick. In extended carrying and using, I have found that this is an amazing blade shape and it scores a four out of five on carryability. With all that being said, the Emerson Tiger scores a 22 out of 25 and is an 88% pass on the Tactical Tavern test. This knife makes an excellent outdoor companion and I believe that you will have a hard time finding a task that this knife cannot handle. All right, everyone, thanks for watching this review of the Emerson Tiger. If you agree or disagree with the review, let me know in the comment section down below as well as are you a fan of Emerson's? Why or why not? If you like this review and you found value from it, make sure to drop a like and subscribe because it helps support the channel. While you're there, turn on post notifications so you are the first to know of new videos dropping every Tuesday and Thursday. With that being said, my name is Tomas Salas. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video. And remember, be prepared, be practical, stay tactical.